Okay, so I actually think there's one more thing I want to do before I get into um, font metrics and, and measuring the, the size of the string. And that's um, just stick in some uh, setters and getters for the different, um, you know, so we can, we can change our font however we want to. So, um, so instead of setting the font here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hmm. Well, I'll leave that for a second. I'll come back to that. But in my constructor, I think what I want to do is um, put in, you know, create my font there. And um, let's let's set up some default values actually for font. Let's see. So. Um, How about, well, um, public file static. So the, um, let's look at that constructor for, the, for font again. So the one that we're going to use is going to be this one that we, we give it a, a name, which is a string, and a style, which is an int, and a size, which is an int. So let's take a look here. Font. Um, you can read uh, all of this stuff in the Java docs, but basically the um, font names that we can have are plain, italic, bold, or italic. And if you say bold with this um, bitwise or um, bold italic that way, then it, it'll do both, bold and italic. Okay, so let's um, go in then and... Uh, the, the basically the default so it's a string and the uh, default font name is um, uh, font dialog okay so um, yeah so dialog is a static variable let's find it here um, Yeah, so it's a static um, variable, it's public, and it belongs to the font class. So the way that we, we reference it is we say font.dialog. Okay. Um, let's make a public final static int. Remember the, the style and the font size are, are um, ints. So we're going to make our default font style, uh, font plain. So this could have been plain, italic, bold, or, you know, italic um, and bitwise or with, with bold, meaning both. But we're going to use uh, plain for the default. And then we'll say public, final, static, int, default, font size equals 12, let's say. That seems reasonable. Um, and then what we can do is in our constructor here where we're making our new font, we'll just use all the default values here. We'll say font default font name default font style and default font size okay now I could make another constructor you know with all these guys added in um, but you know these constructors are getting long now and I, I think um, I just assume just um, put in some setters and getters at the bottom here to um, to do that.
So let's stick in um, let's stick in our setters and getters. So uh, let's have a set font name that sets the font name for the text. Uh, and I'm going to stick in here also a note just to help few other programmers or myself to remember uh, what the valid font names are. Um, now these are just some of the valid font names. You can also stick in stuff like, you know, things that are like if, if Arial, if the Arial font is on your com computer, you could put in something like that. But I'm just going to put in the ones that are um, in the uh, in the Java docs, you know, as you know, everybody should have these because some fonts like Arial, they might be on your computer, but they might not be on somebody else's. Uh, font dot. So S A N S sans. I guess that sans is how you say it. It's French for without. Um, Oh, you know what? Let me stick in here that dialog is the default font name. So I remember that. Monospaced is um, a font in which every um, every character has the same takes up the same amount of space. That's useful sometimes. Font that serif. Okay, um, so you can try out all of these actually. Public void oops, set font name, and it's a string. Font name, and we'll say this font. So what we need to do basically is. Um, For to to in order the only way we can really change the the font name is to create a new font with that font name. And what we do is from the we want we just take the old um, style. We just keep the same style and uh, size that we had before by just you. You know, calling font. So remember, we we created when we in the constructor we made a font that had all the default values. So if you know if this gets called the first time this gets called, font dot get style and font dot get size are going to have the default style and size. So we are just changing the name here. Okay, and let's make a getter. This is a, it's going to return a string because we're getting because the font name is a string and that's what we're getting. And we'll say return font dot get name. Okay, because font already comes with a method called get name. Let's just look and see what I'm talking about here. Um, okay, so yeah. All right, so there's this public method called get name that returns the logical name of the font. All right. Um, okay, dot, 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 dot. So that's what we're getting. We're getting the font name. Then we can do the same thing. Let's do the same thing for style and for um, size. So set the font style for the text, and let's put in the valid font style. Okay, valid font styles are font bold, font italic, um, font 
explain, which is the default font. And um, you know what? Let me stick in also um, font dot bold. If you do a bitwise or and say font dot italic, then that does makes it bold and italic. Um, okay, so now let's say public void set font style. Int font style. Now for um, font styles and font sizes, there's actually a uh, method you can use. This font equals font dot derive font font style. So there's this method called derive font. Oh, you know what? I should. Um, after I make these changes, I should um, I should call my update uh, method to actually redraw the font. So I'm going to make sure I do that. Um, so anyway, what this derive method does? Let me close this off. What does derive font do? So. Oops. Derive font. Okay, derive font methods. So let's look at those. Okay, so there's a there's a number of derive font methods. See, so it creates a new font. Um, if you if you pass it an integer, then it creates a new font object by replicating the front the current font object and applying a new style to it. So this is going to give us back the same font we had before with a new style, which is what we want. And notice if you pass it a float, then it creates a new object by replicating the current font object and applying a new size to it. So to change the style, you need to pass it an int. To change the size, you need to pass a float. Okay, it's the same method, but use depending on what you pass it, it'll update different things. Okay, so that sets the font. Um, and then there's also, as you would imagine, the font um, the font class has a, a a get font style method. So let's get the font style from the text and. Int get font style return font get style. Okay, and um, so the reason I'm putting these in, even though font already has you know this method, is just so that I can um, call these things from, you know, directly from the text class. So let's see, let's do the same thing with size. So size is uh, very similar here. So I'm just going to, because it also involves ints, right? Let me just make sure it's compiled so far. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I'm just going to copy this and say, okay, I'm going to say set the font size. So this is going to be size. This is going to be size. Now remember this derived font, um, if I want it to change the size, I have to pass it a float. So I'm going to cast this font size to a float. And Let's make this size also. Oops, size and use the size method from font. Okay. 
So the way I got all this information about, you know, what what methods I can call and what these valid font styles are, I got this all from the Java docs on, on font. Okay, so it's got all this, all these things about, um, like if you look at, even just kind of look for strings here, that'll give you the different. Um, uh, font names, uh, yeah, the different names, right, for the, for the logical names for the fonts. So dialog, dialog input, you just keep looking down for strings, monospaced, and it says a string constant for the canonical family name of the logical font monospaced. And it says the same kind of thing for every string that's a, a string constant for the canonical family name of the logical font sans serif. Okay, so all, all those things uh, It'll it'll uh, put them in for you, and this and then with bold it says the bold style constant. So it says it's a style constant for those style constants. Italic is the italicized style constant, and then plain is the other one, the plain style constant. So that's where all that stuff came from. Um, so let's just see. Um, and I think, yeah, and I'm pretty sure in my update, I still have that uh, set font here. So whenever I change the font and call update, it's going to set the font and, and draw in that new font. So let's, let's see how that works. So if I say uh, set font size to 24, it makes it bigger. If I say set font style to, uh, let's see, so I, in here, remember, I have to say java.awt before I say um, font.italic, and I change it to italic, or if I say font name, um, java dot awt dot, let's see what monospaced looks like, monospaced, okay, so that's what monospaced looks like, all right, so, um, so that's text, and then we'll, in the next video, we'll start looking at, um, uh, the metrics and how you figure out the size of these guys so you can center them.